Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And now that we got the Deadpool stuff out of the way, we can dive back into Venom proper and talk more about Eddie Brock and the symbiote, uh, their relationship, and then also after Eddie Brock, the other people that the symbiote went to. Uh, so what we're going to talk about today is actually a new book that was just announced. I think it was like announced yesterday or the day before, and it's a Venom book. It's spinning out of the events of the current Donnie Cates Venom book, which only one issue came out, and they're already doing like a one-issue spinoff. Uh, and obviously, we talked about first host and how that's going to deal with the first host of the venom symbiote on i guess on earth and it might be an alien creature heard a lot of rumors heard a lot of speculation on that and uh, you know we'll wait until we hear more about that obviously if we're going to do speculation and rumor stuff if we do any at all it's probably going to be based on the movie so the, the comic book stuff we'll wait until hear you know till we hear more concrete information of what's going to happen in venom first host but it looks like it's set in current day but deals with the return of the first host which is a character that is probably going to be dealt with in Donnie Cates' run, and then to help facilitate that story and get to that story faster, it looks like Donnie Cates is doing a one-shot that's coming out in August called uh, The Web of Venom, colon, v -nom. Uh, v E, you know, and apostrophe N A M. Uh, and so basically that's like a reference to Vietnam. Uh, and if the story takes place in Vietnam, and it's about the guy Rex that we met in issue one of Venom, and how he said he was part of a special forces team that was kind of used as wave two of the super soldier program. So after Steve Rogers went in the ice, you know, after World War II, you know, the government, the US government, everyone was trying to work on new ways to bring about uh, a super soldier. And Agent Venom, which we found out Flash Thompson, was like the second version of that and the first version of it goes back to vietnam and so the, all this was dumped on us in the first issue of venom and so clearly donny cage is trying to add a lot of history to this not only eddie brock but the suit as well and so we're going to dive more into it and it does convolute some things that we already knew about the symbiote but so it could be easily fixed after i thought about it some more i realized you know what some of this could be easily fixed and maybe this one shot will help us out a little bit this one shot is strictly just going to be one story one issue web of venom venom and the solicitations here and we have the link to cbr they wrote a really good article on it so i'm going to link that down below check out that uh, link if you want to learn a little bit more but we're just going to read the synopsis here uh, it's written by donnie cates and it's drawn by juanan ramirez and uh, the cover, of course, is going to be by Ryan Stegman. I have the cover art here. And it's spinning out of the pages of Venom. As the United States of America struggled through the Vietnam War, Nick Fury of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I'm so excited for because the next step we're going to talk about is the Marvel Tsunami Venom Wave from the early 2000s. I think it went from 2003 to 2004. We're going to talk about that all week, five episodes all week long, starting on Monday. I can't wait to dive into it. But it deals with symbiotes and Nick Fury as well. So I'm excited because I feel like if symbiotes were around, on earth especially in vietnam shield had to know about it and probably wanted something to do with it and that's looks like what's going to happen here so nick fury of shield needed a secret weapon and when an ancient creature was discovered at an archaeological dig site he was sure he'd found what he was looking for uh, in reality the discovery was an ancestor of the clintar symbiotes and would become a waking nightmare for a platoon of american soldiers so it looks like rex and his team are going to face off against whatever this threat is it's going to deal with the symbiotes of the way it was before before it went to you know space went back to battle world went to peter parker went to eddie brock and then came back to earth uh so this is interesting it, it's going to be one big issue I, I don't know if they listed the price of it or how many pages it's going to be uh it doesn't look like i have that information here uh, but I'm going to guess it's going to be like an annual size book, maybe like a, a 48 page book, probably for $4.99 um, is my guess. But, you know, I wanted to bring this news to you guys. I'm sorry I didn't do it yesterday, uh, but after making all my Deadpool stuff, I just wanted some rest, you know, and I had to actually work today. Even though I'm on two weeks of vacation, I did have to agree to work one day because I didn't have two weeks full of paid vacation. I only had nine days, so I had to work the 10th day. So that's why I'm late on this. So I apologize. I would have had this up to you guys this morning, but I've been at work for, you know, the entire day pretty much uh, but let me know what you guys think uh web of venom you know venom getting a vietnam story with the venom symbiotes learning more about rex learning about nick fury seeing you know and i'm guessing it's classic nick fury i'm gonna guess they're gonna do the white guy version of nick fury um although i don't really care which version they use i think they kind of fix that with secret wars that the uh you know the one that looks more based off samuel L. jackson he's kind of just the default nick fury now 
it doesn't really matter to me. I don't care. As long as it's Nick Fury, I love Nick Fury. I love the character. And to see him, you know, involved with this makes a lot of sense to me. So I'm glad Donny Cates is writing that and getting a chance to put his stamp on a character like Nick Fury. So you guys let me know what you think of all this down below. Are you excited for Venom or the suit in Vietnam? Uh, you know, tell me what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear them. And as more on this develops and as we learn a little bit more about it, obviously when the issue comes out, we will definitely review it and I will bring it to you guys and we'll give out the digital code at that time as well. Thank you so much for watching my channel. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll have more for you very soon. See you in the future. Peace.